We're here at the Kingston New Football Camp with John Hurst, receiver here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. John, first off, how would you describe the environment, what it's been like here? Yeah, it was it was awesome today being at the King Sanu camp. Um, grateful for Mohamed Sanu, Hill and Alexander having me out here. Um, yeah, it was energetic. A lot of kids, a lot of talent, um, a lot of competition. So it was it was a lot of fun today. It's definitely a success. For sure. So take me through a bit of your journey going from West Georgia Division Two level all the way now to the NFL, where you've played catching passes from Justin Herbert and Tom Brady. For sure, absolutely. Yeah. So I played at the University of West Georgia. Division II school out in uh, Carrollton. Um, I walked on there, so I was a little bit of a late bloomer, um, so didn't have a lot of offers coming out of college. But um, you know, put my head down and worked, and sh showed up every day, did what I needed to do. Um, went from scout team to scholarship the next year, and um, just started earning more playing time. Um, I had a lot of different teammates who started to get NFL uh, traction: JJ Jones, Danica Carter, Alex Arma, guys like that. And um, that kind of opened the door for, for guys like me to, to get some traction. Um, so I ended up having a good senior year, um, put up some good numbers, signed with an agent, had a good pro day, and uh, signed as an undrafted free agent to Tampa. Um, went to play with Tom and those guys down there and had a lot of fun. So um, it's been a good experience, been a good journey, um, trying to make it last as long as I can. Of course, for sure. So now, for you coming from that West Georgia program as a walk-on, what was the moment for you where things really started to turn of, okay, maybe I could go further? Yeah, so like I said, like I was a walk-on, um, got red-shirted scout team that, uh, that freshman year, and then ended up making the travel squad the next year. And I sort of, you know, I, I have confidence in myself. I knew that I could play, but I just had to show that every single day. And um, being able to to make the travel team that next year was big. And then I think it was that next year after that when um, I saw some of my teammates, the guys, uh, the receivers in my room with me. Like I said, JJ Jones, he went to the Chargers, to Nico Carter, got some opportunities with the Ravens. Um, Shaq Rowland got an opportunity with the Bears. Um, and these were guys I was just playing, practicing with. And so, um, you know, they were super talented and, um, you know, I knew that I think I could do it too. And so I think that, you know, sophomore year was kind of the time um, where I was like, you know, I might have a possibility at this. And so um, it was never really, you know, on my mind fully. You know, I was really focused on being at West Georgia, being the best I could be, um, and, you know, letting that speak for itself. And hopefully NFL would kind of be a byproduct of the work that I put in. Got so. you. Okay, so when you break down a bit of your skill set, what are the things that you feel like have made you stand out to go and go along that journey the way you have? Yeah, I think um, I think my speed really came along um, throughout college and really like utilizing my speed well in my game. Um, I think uh, you know you know different uh, different route running abilities. Um, being able to just catch in traffic, catch really hard balls. I mean, it sounds easy being a wide receiver, get open and catch the ball. That's really all it is, you know. But I feel like that's just a big part of my game, um, doing those simple fundamentals really well um, and then utilizing speed in that as well. I think that's, that's really helped me a lot. For sure. Okay, so coming from this journey that you've come from, when you speak to and talk to some of the kids all ages from real small to high school, what is your message or what are things that you tell them coming from where you have? Yeah, I, I don't think it's anything like super profound. I think it's something that we all know, but I think I try to preach it because I believe that it's true. Um, you really get, get out what you put in. Um, hard work really is undefeated. Like if you work hard at something, that's not guaranteed that you'll be successful at something that doesn't guarantee that you'll make it to the NFL, but I think it does guarantee that you will get better at whatever you work at. And so I wanted to be the best receiver that I could be, and so I worked really hard at being a receiver and tried to do different drills and different things that would help me do that, and I did that every single day. Um, and so that's just kind of the message that I preach, just be the best that you can be. That's really all you can do. That's really all you can control. You can't control, um, you know, different offers that you have coming in. Um, I can't control what scouts think of me. The only thing I can do is the work that I put in um, and trying to be the best I can be. So that's kind of, it's a simple message, but that's a, the message that I like to stick to. For sure. Okay, and who are some people that along the way have really inspired you or people that have pushed you to go forward the way that you have? Yeah, there's a lot of people. I have a lot of people in my corner. Um, it's, 
um, this journey, this path, it's never one that's um, done alone. And so um, my wife, Kimberly, has pushed me along the way. Um, my parents have pushed me. Um, so grateful for all of my teammates from West Georgia, even high school, um, every coach, my head coach from Cambridge, Craig Bennett, um, my coaches from West Georgia, David Dean, um, Jared Dorman, um, just so many people along the way. My agent, Paul Aloise, um, guys like Hill and Alexander, Route King, um, Manny Rodriguez, who I did my combine training. There's just, there's so many guys. It's, it's insane. Like it, um, yeah, it's never done alone. So I'm thankful for all those people and I would definitely wouldn't be here without them pushing me. For sure. Yeah. And my final question for you, what is it like catching passes from the GOAT, Tom Brady? The GOAT, man, yeah. I think day one, you know, it was a little surreal. I was trying to get in line where I'd line up with him and, you know, catch balls from him. And, um, you know, I'm really grateful that I've been able to be around him and, and learn from him. And it was super cool. I think day one, I was a little starstruck. Um, you know, I could probably still be starstruck and uh, sometimes a little bit. But, um, yeah, I just – I it becomes normal. You know, he was a teammate, um, co-worker, and someone who just pushed me to be the best I could be and the best football player I could be. And so I was super grateful for that. Um, yeah, and something cool. I'm able to tell people, I guess. People think it's cool. So, um, yeah, it's definitely been a cool experience. For sure. Well, John, thank you for your time and good luck. For sure. Thank you. Appreciate it.